welcome to this Smith & Nephew Wound Club online module on Hard to Heal Wounds, which forms part of a series of modules you can access in order to develop your knowledge and understanding around wound care. Today, we're discussing the physiological aspects of hard to heal wounds. After completing this, you will know what defines a wound as hard to heal, what influencing factors there are, and what physiological changes occur as a result of a wound becoming hard to heal. There are a number of different descriptions of a wound that fails to heal, and the more common terms are stalled, chronic, static, non-healing, and challenging. By definition, a hard to heal wound is defined as one that fails to heal in an orderly and timely manner, and so is comparable to other terms. For the purpose of this presentation, we will refer to these wounds as hard to heal. There are numerous factors that influence wound healing. For example, patient-related factors, namely patient age and comorbidities, wound-related factors such as etiology, wound size and duration, and clinical factors such as staff skills and available resources. Due to the nature of these wounds being multifaceted, a comprehensive holistic assessment is vital for any patient with a wound to ensure wound care is optimised. The physiological changes within a wound can occur when the provision of nutrients, cell replication, regeneration of new tissue and the removal of waste materials are altered. These changes can be as a result of key abnormalities that occur in the hard to heal wound as a result of ischemia, abnormal or persistent inflammation and bioburden. As a focus for this session, we will look at these key aspects of wound healing in the hard to heal wound. These elements typically impact the wound healing process during the inflammatory phase and as a result of matrix metallonoproteases and bioburden levels. Normal wound healing occurs in four phases, hemostasis, inflammation, proliferation, and maturation. These phases need to run in a sequential and orderly way in order to facilitate the wound to move into the next phase of healing. In hard to heal wounds, this is disrupted and the wound cannot progress past the inflammatory phase to begin its regeneration and repair that occurs in the proliferative phase. Due to wound healing being altered in this phase, the arrival of increased inflammatory cells and proteases, in addition to a reduction in growth factors and receptors, further impact the wound's interrupted healing state. In normal wound healing, matrix metalloproteases or MMPs are essential, with many different roles in wound healing and tissue repair. As part of the inflammatory phase, they facilitate the removal of damaged extracellular matrix and bacteria. Due to the nature of a non-healing wound being stuck in the inflammatory phase of healing, this results in excess levels of these proteases. Typically, MMPs help break down damaged tissue to prepare for new, healthy tissue to be created. However, in hard to heal wound, these MMPs are present in increased levels. Excessive MMPs over a period of time leads to degradation of growth factors and receptors preventing angiogenesis, contraction remodelling of the extracellular matrix. Heavy bioburden can impact a wound from progressing to the next phase of wound healing. Establishing wound bioburden is vital in order to facilitate the wound healing trajectory to resume. If bioburden is undiagnosed or left untreated, then the wound will remain in the inflammatory phase. So again, preventing the progression to the next phase of healing, proliferation. In summary, hard to heal wounds can be acute or chronic wounds and are those that have lost the ability to progress through the phases of healing in an expected time and sequence. The hard to heal wound can be as a result of patient related or wound related factors and assessment is vital when trying to manage these wounds. Lastly, an understanding of how the wound physiologically changes will support assessment and management to enable the return to the normal healing trajectory. To check your knowledge and understanding, try and answer the quiz questions.
Du har nå fullført denne Wound Club Online-modulen fra Smith & Nephew. Hvordan vil du bruke det du har lært i jobben din? Klikk på lenken i forklaringen. Den vil ta dig til full versjonen av denne presentasjonen. Den varer bare i 15 minutter. Du kan laste ned et kursbevis etter du er ferdig. Tusen takk for at du tok deg tid til å ta kurset. Ikke glem å se på de andre modulene for å få mer faglig oppdatering om sår og sårbehandling.